Hi everyone, so in this quick video, as you probably saw by the title, I'm going to use something special to uh, adhere to the build plate. Now, usually you get something like this, uh, which is 3 lac to uh, the Sigma, for example. But there's uh, like a thousand different types of uh, adhesion sprays and stuff like that that you can use. So the question today is if we can use Coca-Cola as a adhesion. So my thought is that Coca-Cola has so much ingredients like sugar and stuff in it. So if we let it boil off, the sticky surface should be something that you can print on. And in theory, it should smell pretty good as well. So let's just start off with cleaning the build plate with some alcohol and then we'll get going from there. So as you can see, the build plate here is kind of dirty already. So to make sure that we get a good valid test, I'm gonna uh, just clean this a little bit using here some alcohol, which lets me rub off most of the most of the plastic dirt here. And of course, removing any previous um, lack, of course. So I'm noticing that there is actually a microscopic filament layer here, so I'm gonna uh, remove the 3D lac first and then we'll scrape some of that glass, oh sorry, some of that filament away. Twenty minutes later. And there we have it, a super clean build plate. You can even mirror or reflect the nozzles in there. So I think it's time now that we open the Coca-Cola and then apply it to the heated bed. When you finished with opening, all I did was just pour it out. And remember, I do have a cold plate right now, so um, we need to preheat this one here. So I'm just gonna click here on preheat. It actually goes to 65 degrees, but I, uh, it turned out that I, uh, via the software, made it to 110. And that made it starting to boil and smoke like this, which is pretty cool. And you don't wanna pour it on a cold plate because it could crack. So, um, this is the sticky residue that's left and then all I did was to uh, stop the uh, the preheating here. It's actually hotter than 88, it was just the timing of the video. So it starts cooling down, while we do that we just want to check out the file here, I have a test piece, it's uh, 250 millimeters long. I'm gonna use the electric extruder with PLA, uh, you can check all the settings here if you want to. But the important part is here, the temperature. So I'm gonna remove the heated bed's temperature and put it to 24. Now actually the Sigma overrides that and uh, you have to uh, uh, manually on the machine also lower it. And with that, it's time to just print it. So I'm just sending this to the card. You can see here that the print is cool or the build plate is cool. And we select the file we have to accept here. Uh, it's gonna keep going, right? So I just want to show you here as well, the plate is cold, we still have the residue there. Awesome, that worked. At least this test piece, and I mean, it did warp slightly at the edges, at least now when it's been cooling for like an hour. Uh, it does have a, a tiny bit of warping, so it's not perfect, but I think it's much better if you don't have anything at all at home and you can't buy anything, you can always get a hold of some Coca-Cola. So what should we use this for? I have no idea, that is totally up to you guys. So. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the links down below. Maybe you wanna check out my Patreon if you wanna do that. But first of all, just give me a hi on Twitter and follow me on Instagram and subscribe, of course. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you wanna do with Coca-Cola and 3D printers, right? See ya.